cannot be cancelled. Those police don't know what we are going through when we cancel this celebration. It doesn't matter if it's a Sunday. Sunday. Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today six shot, one fatally during confrontation with police in St. Elizabeth, and Denton killed in Linstead. A day after being released from police custody, 27-year-old Denton Almeton from 4th Street became Lindsay's first murder victim of the year. According to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Hamilton was gunned down by armed men while at a beauty salon in his community shortly after noon on Thursday. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Head of the St. Catherine North Police Division, Superintendent Howard Chambers, told our news team that Hamilton had previously been arrested and charged in relation to a recent case of robbery. Lawmen are investigating his murder. Now this have me I wonder if other people him things with him thief before him got jail, wait for him for come out, and then them just attack him wicked. Them say, you know, long run, short catch so over tell maybe as somebody else thinks him thief and them never got a station go report it them just did a wait for catch him and them catch up on him them here say you come out and them know why you go too far so as them here get information pa you them just run them program this is one of the reasons why one of us see people things and leave it alone some other time and everybody like for go the legal way and even if it go the legal way some of them don't feel pleased within themselves same way that are one of the reasons why crime now go stop too but when you see people things walk past it the people them work hard very hard for everything when them have so you forget up and go work hard for what you want to stop to the people them things and are ready on the yai long on the yai all fight get up Go work, save, and get what uno want. The Independent Commission of Investigation is now investigating the circumstances surrounding a shooting incident in St. Elizabeth on Thursday night after it was revealed that a police officer was involved in the incident. The policeman is reportedly a member of the Maroon community. Six persons were shot at an annual Maroon festival. One of the victims has seen succumbed to his injuries. Two children are also involved in the incident. The victim has been identified as Lloyd Davis of St. Elizabeth. Commanding Officer for St. Elizabeth Superintendent Dwight Daly stated that while the team was at the hospital with the injured victims, they received news that a policeman was at the Santa Cruz Police Station making a report. The officer was reportedly suffering from injuries to his face. Daly said, based on the policeman, report they realized that the two incidents were connected investigations carried out revealed that the policeman is a member of the maroon community his service pistol was seized daily said policeman was taken to the mandeville hospital for treatment the shooting follows wednesday warning by the police that people should not attend the event as it is a breach of the disaster risk management act in the meantime, Superintendent Daly said that the police has mobilized the community safety and security branch along with the victim support unit to go into the accompanied space to do counseling with the families of the victim. There is a Maroon celebration which we celebrated the old ancestors about three miles from here. But while you turn in, this is where it starts. I have jerk chicken, roast yam, saltfish, manish water, fresh sugar cane, and so on so this is all where it starts every 6th of january it doesn't matter what day it falls on the 6th of january right here to a compound town what you feel about the event today even though that the so police nice man i do you know kind of soul on the face but it's so you know wonderful <laughs> new chief new rule new law you know 22 you know Report that the police said that the celebrations were supposed to be cancelled no it cannot be cancelled those police don't know what we are going through when we cancel this celebration it doesn't matter if it's a sunday saturday whatever day it falls out it has to take place in a compound town the 6th of january so yes. there is no way that they can cancel it there is no way the 6th of january can be cancelled it will be a serious retaliated in a compound town with the chief and the old ancestors. Yes. 
Probably them have their reason why they want to stop it, but you know, we don't know the reason why. So we leave it to him and also the chief and them can also them can secret themselves. We them know where them up down and them are. From. But it's my own celebration. The feet said can go on, you know? Yeah. And the people enjoy themselves and do what? the right thing. Have your hand sanitizer, wear your mask, you know? What? Social distance, you know? If it doesn't happen, exactly what will the ancestors do? Because they're saying... They will retaliate. The old ancestors, they will. And I'm not asking anyone. I prove it. They will retaliate. And the, the, the chief and members of the Akonpong town here. I am telling you. Yes. So, what we are saying, just give us the time to do our celebration. If it is a curfew time, 10 o'clock, then they can go ahead. But during the day, this has to take place. During the day, this has to take place. It's a must. Jamaicans are very, very much disobedient to the point where they find it funny. It was stated that the maroon them not supposed to do no celebration on the streets, no marching, not them something there because it go against the Disaster Risk Management Act. For me personally, I don't think the police them have to go in details for to understand why because them know why. Them just choose not to follow the rules. And I hear what the woman say, it no matter what the police them want to say or what them want to do, the event must go on. Now, want to tell me now, why the police them and the government still a get the blame for people a lose them three points? See them keep the event, on the hear much people injured, on the hear much drop out. But guess what go on now? We're not willing to learn, so we stuck right here so for a while. Moving right along. The St. James Police Division is investigating the circumstances which led to the shooting death of a man in Rhyme Park early Friday morning. Based on information gathered by our news team, the dead man Akeem Taylor was shot and killed by his father in what lawmen describe as an unfortunate situation. It is alleged that approximately 5.40 a.m., Taylor's father, a popular St. James businessman, upon seeing a shadow on the roof of his house, opened gunfire and injured the man. After further investigations, it was revealed that the victim, Taylor, was the adult son of the businessman. The police were called to the scene and Taylor was transported to the Cornwall Regional Hospital in the parish where he later succumbed to his injuries. The Barnetown police are investigating. People, a phone in time now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts and all these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody opinion valid, so I'm not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.